Hey guys, Legit Lemmy here, and welcome to the third episode of my Tinkerer's Construct tutorial. In this episode, we'll be going over how to create your seared bricks, and how to create the smeltery, more importantly. Um, so with the smeltery, you can make your more advanced materials, um, and be able to create your pickaxes, sword blades, etc. with um, some of the best materials in the game. Well, THE best, I should say. Um, so this is probably one of the more confusing parts. Um, I certainly took a while to learn everything. Um, I mean, hopefully this video does cover everything, but um, yeah, I'll, I'm sure you'll get the hang of it eventually. Um, hopefully at the end of this video you will. Um, so we've got a couple more crafting recipes here. <laughs> so first of all, you will need your seared bricks, of course. Now to make those, it's simple, it's just a bit of grind, well, not grinding, but it's your sand, clay, and gravel and that would make you grout um, and so you can take the grout out of that um, that makes two per crafting recipe and so I've got two stacks of it um, now I can't remember exactly how many bricks you will need but it doesn't hurt to make more um, because with the smelter you can always upgrade it so it doesn't really matter if um, you make more to be honest um, yeah you'll need a minimum of well one two three you can count you can count that um, but no, well, you will need a bit more as well, quite like quite a lot more. Um, I'm guessing at least a stack, t to be honest. Um, that's just a rough estimate. Um, you may need two if you do want a larger one. Um, but just go for it anyway. Now, I guess I will just smelt it anyway. Um, so if, once this grout, I'm just using block coal. Once the furnace is done, this will get you your said bricks. Um, so I'll just leave that going, um, and so with the said bricks, you can craft all these. Um, now with said bricks, you can do this, and you'll get your said, your actual said bricks, said brick and said bricks makes a lot of sense. Um, <laughs> um, but now you'll need a lot of these. Um, I'll go over how many you'll need in a little bit, um, but this you'll need a lot of this. Um, I might check on over this. I'll probably check on over the screen. Um, exactly how much you do need if I can be bothered otherwise um, it doesn't hurt to make more um, so we'll get started um, now where should we start <laughs> um, so first is this this is called the I don't have it the seared tank um, it's just eight seared bricks and a piece of glass in the middle and you'll get yourself a seared tank um, we'll keep that we have our smeltery controller um, which is just eight pieces very similar to that just no glass in the middle um, next that is the smeltery drain I believe yes it is um, and that's just three on each side um, next is the casting table which is essentially leggings um, you will be needing all of this um, now the furnace still work the, the furnace does actually work with you don't need you don't necessarily need that but it's, it's, you know, it works, but it doesn't, like, you can't do anything with it, so just, just get everything. Um, and that's fairly simple, just a bucket, um, and that's your faucet. Um, now, without further ado, we'll get started on making it. Um, I guess I'll make it with you, so we'll just chuck it, um, I want somewhere close. Okay, we'll just, we'll just hit it here. Um, I don't know why I'm getting a bit of lag. Um, I've just got, like, my, um, my settings quite high just so it looks a bit nicer for the heck of it um, other than that I don't know why um, so to create your smeltery you'll need some bricks first for sure um, now I'll probably have, I'll obviously have on screen how many exactly you need but you'll start out by putting a 3x3 three three area down um, next you you can grab all this stuff out of your inventory um, seared tank, drain, faucet and your casting table um, now things like the smeltery drain and I don't, I've got the drain, am I missing something? Yes I am, I feel like I am, smeltery controller, I knew I was missing something, this is, well, as it says here, brain of the smeltery, um, very important. Um, now you can actually make glass, which look, yeah, uh, seared glass, um, now this looks, it looks really nice with it, um, 
it's it is a multi-block that's how it works um you don't need to use glass at all i mean you, you really don't but it, it just looks I nicer know. um <laughs> i feel like an idiot it's actually meant to be here isn't it yes it is oh my goody aunt i'm so sorry that was really bad of me i'll, I'll cut that out if i can um uh, i don't need that no yes i do i'll keep that in my inventory in case i stuff it up again come on Okay, yep, this needs to be on the edge. Sorry, I was just going to say, something didn't look right. Um, now you can center the grass. Doesn't look... Um, I, I always put that underneath, just because it looks nicer. Um, so you can fill this up around the edge so that you've got a 3x3 three three gap inside. Now you can make... Oh, and there you go. You'll see this thing turns on. Now you can... No, not place. Now by clicking on this, you have that. and You can't click on that? No. Um... And there you have it, you have the smeltery, and you can, you're can you able to access it now. Um, I do, now I'll make it the minimum for the moment, um, so in that case, we'll get rid of that. So this is the bare minimum um, that you need. You, I don't actually think you need this here tank, to be honest, but it really, really does help to have it. Um, so on one, so you've got four sides, on one side you need the tank and the, um, what was that called again? Sorry, smeltery control it, you need it on one side, and on another side you can go for your smeltery drain, followed by your faucet, um, so you can see here that it just matches it perfectly. You do want this, um, you don't want this part facing that way. Um, and then you can chuck down your casting table in front of that, and there you have a completed thing. Um, now this is going to be, you, you do need to fill up the rest of this unfortunately, um, it's no worries anyway, um, but at least it works. Now you can use any of these blocks as glass, um, so this here is the recommended minimum. Um, I wouldn't recommend going one below because you can't exactly put anything out, but you can still put resources in and make them into the liquids. You can still do that, but it's, it's, it's useless anyway. Um, in any case, we'll get next to it. Um, yep, so that's your bare minimum. You can fill this up with, say, glass. Um, you know, you can fill it once up with glass. Make it like, make it look nice. Why am I getting so much of that? Make it look nice. How's that? Yeah, that that looks nice, and you can see inside of it, um, and it works just the same. Um, why don't we fill this up, this side up as well? I'm getting a lot of lag spikes, and I don't know why. I'm not doing anything wrong. Please help. Yeah, that looks nice. I'll just fill this up. Here we go. This, but you don't need glass as well, guys. I mean, you can just do that. But there we have the finished smeltery. Um, this looks quite nice. I like it. Um, and we will fill this up as well. So, you'll at the moment, we have two main sides that we'll be using. And we have more rain again. Um... So you'll have your side with the controller and the tank, followed by your casting table. Um, that's all we need for all that stuff. We'll just give that a run through just in case we need again, which I don't think we will. Um, and so you can enter this again, and this is where you put in your resources that you want to smelt. Um, keep in mind, you know, you, you don't put, like, yeah, if you put iron ore in there, you'll actually, it'll just fill up in here, and um, it will become molten iron. Now you can put in iron ingots, blocks of iron, iron ore, iron nuggets, you can put anything in there. Um, even leftovers from when you crafted the materials, anything really. Um, now one thing that you will always need in a smeltery is gold. Gold is very important. Um, so what we can get started with is, we'll make it quick, we'll chuck in a bunch of gold. I'll just time set real quick, sorry guys. Um, we won't do too much more this episode, I think we're running fairly late. We'll just chuck a couple pieces of gold blocks, that's quite a lot there. We can chuck that in, and you can see here, not enough heat to melt this item, because it's completely cold, and you can see that this fills up like a multi-block does. You can drop in and it doesn't do anything. Um, now, to heat up, you need your lava buckets. A tank can hold a total of four buckets of lava, so you can go one, two, three, four. And that allow and as you put one here, you can open this up, and you can see it's got 950 MB of lava, um, which, you have qu which is almost 10 buckets. So um, each bucket is 
250 um, 250 MB yeah that, that's how it works you can actually chuck one oh yeah watch out if you do break it everything spews out um, so do be careful you don't do what I just did there but you can put if you want I mean this and then you can go one two three four now you have 900 MB which is equivalent to you've got seven it says we've got seven buckets total um, so that is plenty enough that'll last you ages um, and as we go into here um, it will say our temperature which is a thousand I think that's default um, and that you can see here this is the bar that fills up as it smelts um, you can use ores whatever you want so you don't need to you don't need to smelt the gold to put it in but gold you will always need um, you can check in the ore if you want to it just saves a lot of time rather than putting it through the furnace and then into here um, and as that finishes you'll see that this fills up with gold um, we'll wait as we wait for that I will show you the next crafting ingredient um, so very similar to these casts here, what we you do instead is say that we wanted to make, um, let's go for an iron pickaxe head, okay? So what you need to do is use a pickaxe head, blah blah blah, you'll need, you can use any reason, you can actually use any kind of pickaxe head, uh, we'll just use, we'll just use a stone one, let, let, let's just go for stone, okay? Um, so you'll need a stone pickaxe head. All right, you can put that back in there. You can use anything you want, really. I just use stone because um, if you use wood, it disappears. Oh, actually, considering we're not using this again, we might as well just use wood. Um, you'll see in a moment why it will disappear. Just give me one second, guys. We'll have our wooden head. Okay, so this should have finished. And yep, that's filled up, and it's got six blocks in here. And you can see in here, and there's your molten gold. Um, now, luckily, most of the, almost all the materials don't mix together. Um, a couple will, but pfft, you, it's not going to do anything. Um, now, with other, other, sorry, other mods will combine. Um, what's an example? Um, there's like molten mana steel and it mixes with something else to create I don't I'm sorry I I haven't played this in a while um but as the default nothing combines as far as I know um so you'll head into here and you've still got six buckets now as you have gold so now you'll you know you'll have say you might have gold and then you'll have iron and you might have manulin um keep in mind whatever's on the bottom will come out your faucet to get things on the bottom you just click on it um, we will grab ourselves an iron ore or two not a stack um, it, you can only put in one at a time of course um, actually we don't want that much so we'll grab that that'll do um, and we'll see how that goes that'll just take some time to smelt and you'll see in a moment that the iron yeah you can now don't worry the gold's not gone it's just it's just the textures. Um, now, if you want more slots here, as you can see, that so the default. So if you have one layer, that's only these nine slots, and every layer gives you an extra nine slots. So you can build this up so high and have infinite slots. I don't. Th I think there's a limit. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if there was. I've never made anything higher than three myself. Um, I've never needed it. Um, to be completely honest, um, and to increase the size of this, the capacity, same thing. Um, you can you can increase the height of your smeltery. Okay, now you'll see here we have molten iron. Now, if we want molten iron, we put it on the bottom, and we want gold, put it on the bottom. Whatever is on the bottom is taken out the faucet. The most. So now oh, we'll, give, we'll take a look in here, and there you have it. Now, if you if we want to make an iron pickaxe head, no, you don't put the iron in. You do need to use gold. So if we put a wooden pickaxe head down here, it puts it in here. We click the faucet, the gold pours out on top of the pickaxe head. You let it sit. Um, now, if this was a stone pickaxe head, I believe it doesn't disappear, but we don't need it anymore. And now you can right click this. Oops. And you have a pickaxe head cast. Very important. Now, now we can put that back down there. Get ourselves some iron. Pour it out this will fill up and it will set and you have your iron pickaxe head and this has one block 
and seven ingots. That's five blocks and seven ingots. Now we can go craft ourselves pickaxe. So let's go for tool rod of wood. We don't need that. We've got a wooden stick. You can actually you can actually use regular sticks, by the way. Um, what should we use for that? Let's grab some prismarine. Let's do let's do something new, eh? You can use any materials you want. Um, sorry, we want this one, don't we? Yes, we do. And there is your, and that just made us two. Awesome. Do not need that. Whatever. Um, so we put on our we put on this, put in our stick, and our iron pickaxe head, and then we have it. A new pickaxe. So if you hold shift, we have two iron. 329, we have a minor little diamond, minor speed of 6, 5 attack, modifies 3. Hold control, we've got a wooden tool rod, which gives us 25 durability. Iron pickaxe head, blah blah blah, um, and you can see the all its mater wonderful materials. Um, we don't want that anymore, we want to keep our fancy wooden pickaxe, of course, we don't want that anymore either. Um, so yeah, that is your finished smeltery. Um, we will grab ourselves a chest. It always it does help to have a chest there just to put in your casts, um, extra casts that you don't need. Um, just use it again. So in, you know, oh, I, I want a wooden pickaxe set. You put it down and you oh forgot about that. So yeah, it helps to check that first before creating it because you only you only ever need one cast. Same with your tool table. Um, now I think we're running out of time for this episode, but that's fine. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure this will help a lot of people. Like, I know a lot of people do get stuck on the smell street, which is completely fine. Um, I can understand; it's quite confusing. Um, but now, next episode, we will go over the different tool stations, um, and then we'll get crafting ourselves some really good armor. I'm um, sorry, not armor. Sorry, um, tools. And I'll show you how to create um, better tool stations. So at the moment, this is, these are the only tools we can craft, and um, we can create a better tool station so we can any tool we want. Um, and we'll also do some modifiers. Um, I think this is going to be the second to last episode, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, but other than that, thanks for watching. Um, I hope I helped you a lot, and we'll see you next time.